In this lecture, I'm going to try and explain to you uh, the physical properties of metals and we just discussed what the physical properties of metals were. They had high melting boiling points, they were malleable and ductile and they were, they conducted, they were very good conductors of electricity. Now before moving on to the physical properties uh, and to explain those physical properties, I would first uh, go over and revise what, uh, what a st the structure of a metal was. Now when we, when we talk about metals, we describe this structure as a giant metallic lattice and to describe what a giant metallic lattice is I've drawn a diagram in front of you metals tend to lose electrons they have a very high tendency to lose electrons so if a structure has only metals they're going to lose all these electrons they're going to form positive ions so you have these positive ions it's going to be a lattice it's going to be an arrangement of positive ions a very regular arrangement if it's a pure metal and all these electrons, tiny electrons having these negative charges, they would be roaming around, delocalized, free moving electrons, they would be just roaming around in the, in the middle. So these tiny red dots are representing electrons and they're just roaming around. And these electrons are negatively charged and the positive ions are positively charged. So they're going, going to be attracting each other. So these electrons, these tiny electrons in between are basically acting as a glue because they are attracting the positive ions. So, which is why this is what, what is metallic bonding. There's going to be an electrostatic force of attraction between these uh, uh, red dots and these gray positive ions and they would all be sticking together. So that's what a giant metallic lattice is and that's what metallic bonding is. It's going to be a very strong electrostatic force of attraction. So, uh, the way we described giant metallic lattice was that it was, uh, it, it is a regular arrangement It is a regular arrangement of positive metal ions in a sea of free moving or you can use the word delocalized electrons so that is how you describe a giant metallic lattice now we figured out what a giant metallic lattice is and we've uh, gone through uh, and i've given you an overview of, of what a structure of a metal looks like and uh, looks like so now i'm going to describe to you why metals have high melting points so if somebody asks you what, why do metals have high melting points what you're going to write is that they have uh, the strong forces of traction strong electrostatic force of attraction and there are two types of particle species involved in, in a metallic lattice one is the one one is the positive metal ions and the other one other ones are the delocalized electrons so the, the strong electrostatic forces a uh, force of attraction between positive metal ions or cations and free moving electrons free moving or delocalized electrons second property that needs some explanation is why do metals uh, conduct electricity and heat so well and the reason for that is if you look at the structure is that they have uh, these these free moving electrons that are roaming around so these electrons can uh, the first thing is that they are negatively charged so electricity is the movement of charges so these electrons can move around this electron can move over here this electron can jump to this side so they can they can randomly move around uh, in different places so if they become energetic they can move from one end to the other when other end and they can carry that energy and transfer that energy so if this, uh, for example, if you look at this uh, particular electron, if this becomes energetic, then this could jump and move to the other end and can carry energy to the other side as well. So, so they're very good at transferring energy from one side to the other side because they are freely moving around in all directions. So which is why they're very good conductors of heat. 
and the second thing is that they're very good uh, conductors of electricity is because electricity is the movement of charges so if they move around they're basically carrying negative charge so that negative charge is going to move from one end to the other end so the reason why metals are such good conductors of heat and electricity is because they have they have free moving electrons which can transfer energy and charge as well and they can transfer energy and charge very quickly the third point that I would explain uh, is uh, why metals are malleable and ductile malleable means that they can be reshaped they can be uh, beaten into different shapes and uh, ductile means they can be drawn into wires which means that metals are generally flexible it's not a very strong rigid structure now if you look at this giant metallic lattice that over here you would notice that it has a layer of positive ions in a sea of free moving electrons the red dots are electrons and the positive ions are being attracted by the electrons that are roaming around in between which is keeping the entire structure intact so the positive ions are exerting an electrostatic force of attraction uh, to the negative electrons and the negative electrons are attracting the positive ions so what happens is if I apply a force if I apply enough force these layers of positive ions can easily slip and slide over each other so so the reason why malleable uh, why metals are malleable and ductile is that when enough force is applied because these layers are not held together rigidly they are they are strong forces of attraction they have high melting and boiling point it's a strong structure but when enough force is applied it's not a rigid structure the layers can easily slip and slide over each other so so the explanation that you're going to write for malleable and ductile is that uh, when a force is applied so when a force is applied layers of positive ions layers of positive metal ions in the giant metallic lattice giant metallic lattice can slip and slide over each other So if somebody is going to ask you why metals are malleable and ductile, so this is what you are exactly going to write that the layers of positive ions can easily slip and slide over each other in the giant metallic lattice.